is it? <gasps> the baby! There have been rumors for the past year or two about Disney working on a remake of the 1997 animated film Hercules. Recently, more details have surfaced, making it seem like the project is real. As for casting, it's rumored that Ariana Grande could play Megara, Danny DeVito might return as Philatides, and Michael B. Jordan is mentioned for the role of Hercules. In recent years, Disney's live-action adaptations of their classic animated films have gotten mixed feedback. Some fans enjoy seeing beloved characters brought to life in a new way, while others wish Disney would focus on creating original stories rather than revisiting old ones. Despite mixed reviews, Disney's live-action adaptations aren't slowing down. Next year, the highly anticipated Snow White will be released, starring Rachel Zegler as Snow White and Gal Gadot as the Evil Queen. The movie, based on Disney's first feature film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, 1937, is set to hit theaters in March 2024. However, it's been surrounded by controversy due to changes in the story and comments made by Zegler. The trailer has even become one of the most disliked of all time, raising questions about Disney's live-action future. Looking beyond Snow White, Disney has plenty more live-action films lined up, like The Lion King 2024, Moana 2025, Hercules to be determined, Lilo and Stitch 2025, and Bambi to be determined, among others. Over the months, details have emerged about these projects. As for the Hercules live-action remake, the main details so far are that Guy Ritchie, fresh off his work on the billion-dollar Aladdin, will direct, while Anthony and Joe Russo, Avengers Endgame, are producing. Dave Callaham, Shang-Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings has been brought on to write the screenplay. For the past few years, speculation has swirled about who might play Hercules. In 2021, Inside the Magic reported that Disney was considering casting a non-white actor in the lead role. Before that, fans voiced their opinions on potential actors, with Rocketman star Taron Edgerton emerging as a frontrunner, despite rumors of the studio seeking a non-white lead. That's why Michael B. Jordan's name has been in the mix for a while, which makes sense given his action star status. But we have more actors who are suited for the role that is more faithful to the original and have that star power as well. Like Chris Pine, he has been a go-to for romance movies for years. While Hercules is more than just a love story, the relationship between Hercules and Megara is key to their character development. From his role as Nicholas in The Princess Diaries 2 to playing Steve in Wonder Woman, Pine has proven he can create strong on-screen chemistry. His role in Into the Woods, a mashup of fairy tales, makes him especially easy to picture as Hercules. Plus, Pine's singing abilities make him a solid fit for the musical elements of Hercules, adding to his potential as a great choice for the role. Another is Liam Hemsworth. He made his mark as Gail Hawthorne in the Hunger Games series. Standing out in an ensemble cast with stars like Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, and Woody Harrelson is no easy task, but Hemsworth managed to do just that. Even diehard Team PETA fans from the books found themselves rethinking their stance after his portrayal. Taking on a role like Hercules, where fan expectations are high, is a big challenge. Hemsworth has experience with this, having starred in Independence Day Resurgence, a sequel that came 20 years after the original. Despite the skepticism, he handled the pressure with ease. And the top choice for me is Aaron Taylor Johnson. He has come a long way since his Angus thongs and perfect snogging days. He is no stranger to playing established characters, having taken on the lead role in Kick-Ass 2010. In that film, he transforms from an ordinary teenager into a superhero, mirroring Hercules' journey from a mortal seeking approval to a confident hero by the end. Since Kick-Ass, Taylor Johnson has expanded his resume significantly. Marvel fans are eagerly awaiting his performance as the titular character in Kraven the Hunter, especially after his role as Quicksilver in Avengers Age of Ultron. Taylor Johnson has the right blend of charm, strength, and humor that would fit well with Hercules. The original Hercules film, released in 1997, featured Tate Donovan, Josh Keaton, Roger Bart as Hercules, Susan Egan as Meg, James Woods as Hades, and Danny DeVito as Phil. 
and the live-action Hercules remake will likely follow the classic storyline set in ancient Greece. Hercules, the son of the gods Zeus and Hera, faces a major challenge when Zeus's wicked brother Hades plots to overthrow him and rule Mount Olympus. Hades discovers that a planetary alignment in 18 years will give him the chance to free the Titans and conquer Olympus, but only if Hercules doesn't get in his way. To prevent this, Hades sends his minions, Pain and Panic, to kill Hercules using a potion that can strip him of his immortality. They kidnap the baby and give him the potion, but they are interrupted by a passing farmer couple before Hercules can drink it all. As a result, Hercules loses his immortality but keeps his godlike strength. The couple adopts him, and Pain and Panic choose not to report their failure to Hades. Years later, teenage Hercules struggles as an outcast because he can't control his strength. Seeking answers about his origins, he visits the Temple of Zeus where a statue of Zeus comes to life and tells him he can regain his godhood by becoming a true hero. Zeus sends Hercules and his old friend Pegasus to the satyr Philatides, Phil known for training heroes. After completing Phil's training, Hercules and Phil head to Thebes to prove himself as a hero. Along the way, they meet Megara, Meg, a sarcastic damsel whom Hercules rescues from the centaur Nessus. What Hercules doesn't know is that Meg is a slave of Hades, having sold her soul to save her boyfriend, who eventually left her for someone else. When Meg mentions Hercules to Hades, he realizes pain and panic's failure and starts plotting to deal with Hercules himself. Hades sets up a trap with pain and panic disguised to lure Hercules into a battle with a hydra. Hercules defeats the Hydra, gaining the admiration of the Thebans and becoming a celebrated hero. He continues to defeat other monsters sent by Hades, but Zeus tells him he's not yet a true hero without explaining what that means. Feeling disheartened, Hercules spends a day with Meg and they fall in love. Realizing this, Hades captures Meg on the eve of his takeover and demands that Hercules give up his strength in exchange for her freedom. Hercules agrees, trusting that Meg will be unharmed, but is devastated to discover that Meg was working for Hades all along. With the Titans unleashed, they overpower the gods on Olympus, and the Cyclops heads to Thebes to kill Hercules. Hercules uses his cleverness to defeat the Cyclops. During the battle, Meg is mortally injured while saving Hercules from a falling pillar. As a result, Hercules regains his strength and flies to Olympus with Pegasus, freeing the gods and defeating the Titans. Tragically, Meg dies from her injuries. To save Meg's soul, Hercules ventures into the underworld and risks his life by jumping into the river Styx. This brave act restores his godhood and immortality, allowing him to reach Meg's soul and escape. He then pushes Hades into the Styx, where vengeful souls drag him down. After reviving Meg, she and Hercules are summoned to Olympus, where Zeus and Hera welcome him, declaring that he has proven himself a true hero through the strength of his heart. Instead of joining the gods, Hercules decides to stay in Greece with Meg and relinquishes his god powers to show his commitment. Back in Thebes, they see Zeus create a constellation in Hercules' honor, much to Phil's delight. Well, that's it for today. Would you like to see Michael B. Jordan in the live-action Hercules? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time!